Sarah, I hear you're still not playing nice with Huya Samuels. <sighs> Just like the hatchet lady to complain. She's got you down as a troublemaker. You're going. Well, I'll only be one of many if the DHB has its way. But Andrew's not going to let that happen, are you? Still fighting the good fight? How's Jake? Much as you'd expect. Thank you for dealing with that. And that's fine. But we'll still need to talk. My office. <laughs> oh, my God. It's from him, I know it. Well, it was there, on the desk, with my name on it. It must be from the guy who broke into my place. It's what he does. So, big date with Tan still on for tonight? Ah, uh, my date was with Babette, not Tan's, OK? So I can safely say the big date won't be happening. Well, I'm quite pleased you're steering clear. Why? Big sister suit from the big bad wolf. Oh, Vinny, you innocent. <laughs> what? She would chew you up, spit you out, and daintily wipe her chin. Oh, you reckon? I know. <laughs> so, how long is she temping for? A couple of weeks, apparently, until the big downsizing. She's covering a couple of nurses who have already jumped ship. Still, a fortnight is long enough for Tanya to do some serious damage around this place. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you're working. Chris is back. Got to make an appearance at least. <sighs> How's my man Norm? Not good. Wasn't such good news about the surgery. He's so down. He just can't get around the fact that the tumor's still there. Yeah, what therapy would knock that on the head? It's a losing battle and he's got too much time to think about it. I can't be there to distract him all the time. And he doesn't have any other family. We're going to go visit at lunch? Yeah, and we'll send the word around. See if we can get our visitor's roster going. He just so wants out of there and he can't. And I... um, go easy, Lee. You're doing everything you can. Not quite. Jake and Scarlett are used to looking after themselves. I have always worked long hours. There have never been any problems. And all that tells us is that you've been damn lucky that something like this hasn't happened before now. You know why nothing's happened before now. Don't try and put this on her. Your son took my car and committed a crime. Claire's been completely distraught. Yeah, I'll bet she is. Meaning? Jake would never have been driving the car if Claire hadn't given him the keys. And I seriously doubt that's her only involvement. You should be careful what you say. Jake and Scarlett were doing just fine before Claire was expelled from her fancy boarding school. I see. So now she's a bad influence on your kids. You're damn right. You might want to ask her about providing alcohol for my 15-year-old daughter a couple of months ago. Scarlett hadn't touched a drop before and Claire had her so drunk she was vomiting. That's Scarlett's story, is it? Claire's, actually. She admitted buying it, with a fake ID, which, as far as I know, she still has. Why didn't you tell me this at the time? Claire got a fright when she saw how sick Scarlet was. She apologised. I didn't see any point in taking it further. Now I wish I had. So do I. Look, Claire leads Jake around by the nose. So before you go blaming my son for this whole mess, maybe you should look in your own backyard, eh? Pretty twisted. Do we know he comes back? You want me to break the news? No, I'll do it. Maybe it was from a drug company. They send out promotional stuff all the time. Oh my god, I knew it. Well, what am I gonna do? Well, you can't go back to that flat. You can stay on with us. Of course. They're going to catch him soon. Until then. Thank you. Thanks so much. Look, I'd better get back if you need a hand moving the stuff again. The police are sending someone round. They'll be taking fingerprints and seeing if they can match them up, as well as examining the actual footage. Do you have somewhere safe to stay? Uh, Tony and Chris have just offered. Oh, good. I don't want you to be alone tonight. I can't explain it. It's just I was in my own home and <sighs> most nightmare sort of stuff. If you need anything, you call me. Understood? Thanks, Andrew. I really appreciate it. Ooh, 
If it isn't the Anselm Doctor. Ah ha ha, that was Sif's idea. I kind of went along with it. Renee knew Sif couldn't really be a doctor. Oh, so Renee is a real name. You surprise me. Except it's really Renee, not Renee. Just so you know, it's not something I do all the time, okay? Pity, zero, please. Such fun, no? You want a coffee or anything? I'm right. Chris, I've been trying to find you. Here I am. How's Norman doing? Restless, miserable, depressed. Uh. Which is what I wanted to talk to you about. He's been asking to be transferred over here. Is that a good idea? Central set up to handle neurology post-op. But it would make such a difference being with people he knows. Yeah, it's a proven fact. I read it in the nursing journal. I wouldn't be for a couple of days until they're sure about complications. Hmm, yeah, it could make sense. Andrew would have to approve it. You want me to ask him? It would carry more weight coming from you. Yeah, I'll put in a word. Thank you. But uh, I'm not making any promises. Not with things the way they are at the moment. Well, things were fairly hairy at the start. She lost three litres from a retroperitoneal bleed in theatre. How are her bloods now? Well, her haemoglobin and her platelet counts are picking up. We've started her on some mild physio and we hope to have her mobilised by the end of the week. Chances of a full recovery? 95% plus. Well, physically at least. Now tell him what the emotional scarring's likely to be. She's young, she's resilient. She'll be fine. Well, I better get in there. <laughs> Uh-oh, picture lady approaching. Dr. Valentine, isn't it? I recognise you from the picture in your file. Huya Samuels, acting business manager. Look, I need to have a chat sometime. I'm free now if you're not busy. Uh, afraid I am. I'm back from two weeks' suspension tomorrow. I've got a lot to catch up on. I don't know what you people hope to achieve by avoiding me. The outcome's going to be the same. Well, then it won't bother being polite. What's happening in this hospital is crazy. And I have no intention of being a willing participant. Please yourself. I'll uh, schedule a meeting for seven o'clock in my office if you don't show up. I'll draw my own conclusions. Solidarity, huh? Expensive, but oh so satisfying. <laughs> Hi, Gemma. I'm Dr. Valentine. How are you today? Okay. Are you my new doctor? No, no, I work in the emergency department. I'm here because it was my son who caused your injuries. I know and apologise and can't make up for it, but I just wanted you to know how sorry I am for everything you've been through. It'll help you.